So Hina reporting from the Wipro headquarters. We'll have plenty more results-oriented action that's coming up at Sodamini a little bit later in the show. But let's get on to another story that's looking pretty controversial in its uh, probe panel findings on the Delhi metro accident uh, that took place last week. We do now know that Gammon India has been implicated, saying, of course, that Gammon was uh, responsible for the incident where the 18-wheeler uh, crane and two other cranes toppled while trying to clear the debris. Siddharth Pandey has been tracking the story very closely. Let's go across to him, uh, but before that, uh, let's quickly just uh, listen in to what we've heard from Gammon India, which says, of course, that it isn't the only one responsible and that the DMRC also plays an equal role. Gammon India did not receive any communication from the one-man committee set up by DMRC investigating the train mission. It had initially recommended cutting down the launching truss into multiple pieces and then removing them individually. This would have taken a minimum of two to three days. However, DMRC officials were in a rush to remove the launching truss as they wanted to open one lane to traffic the very next day. Hence, the decision was taken to employ cranes to lift the entire launching truss and move it aside. And most of these cranes were arranged by DMRC. This was a joint operation carried out both by Gammon people and DMRC people. DMRC engineers were fully aware and involved in this operation. We would also like to reiterate that the fact that the investing authority has not given us any official communication. All right, Gammon India speaking exclusively to NDTV there, saying that, of course, it's not the only one to blame. Now let's go across to Sadhat Pandey, who's joining us uh, from the capital as well. Sadhat, you were, of course, there at that site. You've been uh, following this particular story pretty closely. What really does uh, this report mean in terms of uh, not just uh, the, the progress of the project itself, but also in uh, the kind of findings you might have uh, going forward? Well, Siddharth, of course, this is the second report. The first big report into why the accident took place is still awaited. We believe that the uh, four-member committee, which is probing that, is, is still uh, out there. It, it's still... Uh, conducting meetings, they're still uh, looking into the evidence. But this, of course, uh, was the, the next day. This happened on uh, on the Monday. Uh, and, and essentially, uh, three cranes were, were badly damaged and uh, one was practically destroyed. And uh, what the DMRC uh, fact-finding uh, committee has essentially said that this was a major accident and incident. Uh, there was no loss of life, but essentially it was because of a, uh, an error of judgment on the part of Gammon. You just heard Gammon there saying that the DMRC was uh, jointly conducting the, uh, the the recovery operation when this accident took place. So essentially, this is now the uh, the report into the second incident which took place. But the the big report uh, as to why the actual accident took place, which uh, which took the lives of six people, is still awaited. Salah. All right, Salah.